Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we're gonna speak about Core ML. Core ML is a machine learning uh, framework from Apple. They announced it on WWDC in uh, June and today we're gonna go through, uh, through an introduction uh, on how you can uh, implement machine learning into your apps. They did that so uh, normal developers like me and you uh, can make our uh, apps smarter using that framework and Apple gives us some uh, models to use and also you can use some third-party providers. So if you go to developers.apple.com slash machine learning, you will see the introduction uh, by Apple on machine learning and also if you scroll further down, you will see models. So basically they give you quite a lot of models uh, that detect like dominant objects such as trees, animals, food, vehicles, people and more and also uh, scenes like airport, uh, terminal, bedroom, forest, coast and more and there are other ones like face detection and stuff like that in this tutorial we're gonna use the squeeze dot, uh, squeeze.net model that will de uh, determine the dominant object in a picture and something that you can clearly see is the file size it's 5 megabytes so you will see that mobile net and squeeze net do exactly the same but the file size is different and in my opinion is that the larger the model is the more uh, the smarter it is so it will give you more accurate uh, results i'm not sure if this is actually true so don't take my word for it i will investigate and i'll let you know uh, later on but <clears throat> in this tutorial we're going to use the squeeze net that will tell us what the dominant object is in a picture so all you need to do is uh, to start is download the core ml model of squeeze net you can also download any other uh, ones in this page and the tutorial will work uh, with them as well and also you need to create a xcode project which i've already done for the convenience of the video so let me walk you through uh, the Xcode project I'm gonna enlarge it right here and you will see I have created a storyboard with an image image view uh, with a plane right now a label which will tell us uh, what exactly the dominant object is and I have a typo it's your answer and in here we're gonna press the button to start the detection now I also include uh, four pictures not just a plane I include a plane a fox a cow and a banana to see what uh, the CoreML will give us. Now going to our view controller to write some code. I've already written uh, some. I've added a tab gesture recognizer to the image view that will change the image from plane to a banana, no, from a plane to fox, from fox to a banana, from a banana to cow and from cow to plane and going like this. And then uh, I also added a uh, IB action for the button to start the detection using the core ML. Now all we need to do is also you need to import the core ML and the vision framework and I'll uh, tell you in a bit why. Right, right now all you need to do is import the core ML model that we downloaded into our Xcode project. So we go to Finder and this is the SqueezeNet ML model that I downloaded and all you need to do is drag it in here and say copy items if needed and finish. Now uh, the ML model is in here and if you press it you can see a lot of information like who uh, wrote it, the size, uh, a description of the model the license and so on and also you will see what kind of input it, ge it gets and this one gets an image input and also what kind of output so it gives us a, ca a class label string with with the most likely category so let's say in the plane it will say us a plane and also the probability how much uh, percentage it thinks it's a plane and when you do when you uh, put it into your xcode project you need to go to the file inspector right here and add the target membership to your uh, project once you do that you will see that the model class created an arrow here and it says automatically generated swift model class meaning that we can go and see the actual code in there and that's what we're gonna use here um, now let's go to our view controller and to our detect pressed button 
start an action, let's start writing something. Actually, first we will need to have the model, right? So let's say let squeeze net model equals uh, squeeze net and you just open and close parentheses and now we have access to the model so in here if I say something like squeeze net model dot prediction with an image it asks the image parameter to be a CV pixel buffer what's that well worry not we have the vision framework uh, to help us with that that uh, vision framework we're gonna uh, create some requests and we're gonna use the model from SqueezeNet to go around this and get uh, the the results from the vision framework and we're gonna see how it, easy it is there's nothing to worry about so simply we're gonna go and create our function called detect and that detect is gonna have an image parameter of CI image which, stand, which stands for core image image core image image so let's uh, start writing our uh, code so first thing when you start detecting you want to let the user know the program is detecting something because it might take some uh, time so you just say results label dot text equals detecting object all right now that we're uh, letting the user know we can start and doing our work so first thing we need to make sure that we have a model and guard let model model equals and something that i want you to see in squeeze model if you open the Swift generated file you will see that there is a variable model and we're gonna use this one to insert it into our uh, vision framework uh, to do the job for us so you simply say vn core oops, vn core ml model and that's for model which is the squeeze net model dot model and also we need to make sure that this exists else uh, fatal error else we have a fatal error and then we continue with a request so uh, actually this can throw so you need to have it in a try method and i'm gonna put an optional uh, if it fails it will give us a fatal error so just like this now we need to create a request so let request equals a vn core model request so now we have the model and we need the request using that model so you just say model um, but actually we want the request with a completion handler this one exactly so model and completion handler will give us a request and also an error if it exists and in here you want to say guard let request results so once we have the results from the uh, analyzation of the picture we want to say request dot results as a, an array of vn classification observation so once we have results we want to get the first result the one with the highest probability we don't care about uh, the other results there can be thousands or hundreds or i don't know how many what you care about is the dominant object so you also want to say let um, top result equals the results re results dot first else we return a fatal error you can handle your uh, error handling better than me uh, you don't have to have fatal errors in there I just that's how I want to do it and once we have our top result then we want to display it into our uh, label, right? So since I said this might take quite a lot, long time to do, uh, you need to dispatch a main queue for that because you need to make sure that you're in the main queue to see the result. So dispatch uh, main dispatch queue main async, and then you say self dot results label dot text equals, 
and that's gonna be equal to a string now what we want this to string to have first of thing uh, we want to have a percentage of what's the probability of that object being what it says it is so you say an integer of uh, the top result the uh, confidence confidence comes from 0 to 1 and that means that you need to multiply it by 100 to give you a percentage and say percent here and also space you want to have the name so that's a top result dot identifier the identifier will tell you the object the class category or something I think it comes in categories actually um, we will see so now that we have our request done we want to have a handler that will handle this request so you simply create a handler handler like this which is a VN image request handler with a C I image it doesn't appear in the thing so the CI image is the parameter that you are passing in the uh, image and after you do that we have the handler and we need to dispatch another queue which is gonna be a global queue of user interactive and that's gonna be an asynchronous as well and in here we need to do a do uh, try method because the handler the perform action of the handler can actually fail and if this happens uh, we have a catch method so do try handler dot perform as you can see it throws and perform requests is an array of vn requests and we already have that but we just have one request you can have many requests but in uh, this tutorial we're just doing one and we want to catch the error right so we just catch it and we print the error simple as that and that's all we need to do in our detect function right so simple nothing really complicated now in when uh, we press the button we want to extract that image from the image view so we need to make sure that we have an image uh, which is an image view dot image and also that uh, that image is a ci image so let's go and convert it ci image from uh, image your image and that's the image else return we want to return and simply here you say detect image and you pass the ci image and that's all the work we need to do to detect the dominant object from <coughs> the image um, yeah that needs a let method okay so let's go and run on x on iPhone 10 and see the results so your answer will appear here we have the plane and find out what's in the picture let's go and see so we see detecting object appear there and then a few seconds one second later we have 80% airship dirigible which is correct this is an airship all right so that so far so good um, let's press on the image we have a fox right now so what's in the picture 60% 64% red fox correct wolves wolves so yeah this is a red fox and you can say that really looks uh, it's hard to distinguish exactly uh, if it's a fox I mean we can but for a computer to distinguish that it is a bit difficult that's why also the percentage is 64 but it did very good and it did recognize that it is actually a red fox that's very good to know and let's go to bananas that's something very simple so what's in this picture mixing bowl now me and you know that this is not a mixing bowl uh, but the squeeze net model tell us it is an actual mixing ball well 58 percent it says it's sure that it's a mixing ball uh, yeah definitely doesn't look like one but i suppose it's because the image that they they passed into it 
had a lot of bananas like this in pack and since you have bananas in pack usually in a mixing bowl it gives you this result I'm not satisfied it's clearly that it should say banana uh, there's only yellow in this picture anyway uh, continuing to the next picture we see a cow this is very obvious so let's go and see what's in this uh, picture eighty seven percent ox an ox also known as bullock in Australia and India is a bovine trained as a draft animal oxen are commonly castrated adult make cattle but how does this can be an ox like this is clearly a cow, how can it say it's 87% ox? Okay, um, clearly it needs some improvements. Uh, but as I said, this is the 5 megabyte model. So I suppose if you have the ones that are larger, like uh, 20 megabytes or 100 megabytes model, they're smarter than this one. I cannot really say I'm not sure anymore uh, but yeah this is uh, how simple it is to integrate the machine learning into your app and uh, if you have any questions you can let me know and let me know if you're gonna start using uh, machine learning into your app and if you need any information on how to add further uh, machine learning like speech recognition or text recognition and not just image and also let me know what you think of the CoreML framework. And that's all for today. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.